What is going on everybody? I'm back making another video and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys the best farming method in Project Slayers to get tons of ores and items So to start off this method you're going to need to be in the second world You need to be level 50 to get into the second world So if you're not level 50 yet I made a video right before this one on the fastest way to level up in Project Slayers so if you guys aren't that high of a rank yet, if you're not even level 50 to get into this area, go and watch that video first. But yeah, pretty much, I'm gonna teleport back to the menu to show you how to get into the second world, just in case you don't know. Okay, so this is the menu. You obviously select your character, and if you wanna get into the second world, it is this one right here, level 50 plus. Okay, so now that I'm in the second world, let me show you where to go. This is where you spawn in on the second world. What you wanna do is go outside, and you're gonna wanna run to this guy over here with the horse. If you see a guy with the horse, that's where you teleport at. So there's four different places that you're gonna be teleporting to because there's four different tier five bosses. These tier five bosses spawn in every 15 minutes, and I'm gonna be showing you guys the best way to rotate between the four bosses, and also where to farm extra whenever you're waiting for the four bosses to respawn because like I said they take 15 minutes to respawn so first thing you're gonna want to do is pull up your map and you're going to want to unlock four different places you technically don't have to unlock these four places with the map you can just click on a place and run towards it but that takes forever it only costs a little bit of money to unlock places so what you're gonna want to unlock is mist trainer location Akaza cave devourers jaw cave number one and the sound cave you're also going to want WAP City. There, you're going to want most of these places eventually, but those are the main places that you need for this specific method. So the first place we're going to go to is Akaza Cave, and this is where the first boss is going to be. The first tier 5 boss. And like I said, these bosses take 15 minutes to spawn in. I'm in a private server right now, and none of them have spawned in yet, but while I'm waiting on them to spawn in, let me show you the spot that you want to be farming while you're waiting. So this is Akaza Cave. If you want to get to the nearest teleport you just run right over here and here's the horse guy but yeah you're gonna want to go over to the sound cave when you're waiting on everything to respawn so once you get to the sound cave just go up this ramp and there's going to be a tier 3 boss at the top and the tier 3 bosses they respawn really quick so you can just come up here and you can fight this tier 3 boss a bunch of times while you're waiting on all of the tier 5 bosses because every single one of them takes 15 minutes to spawn in Okay, so I took out the tier 3 boss. I actually didn't get anything, but usually you will get some items. So this is the boss that you're going to want to grind while you're waiting on all the tier 5 bosses. You can probably kill this boss like 6 or 7 times while waiting on the tier 5 bosses to spawn in, which will obviously just give you extra XP for leveling, extra mastery, and a little bit of extra items. But you won't be getting the really good items and you won't be getting ore from the tier 3 boss. So taking out this boss a bunch of times is optional. It's just a little bit of extra items at XP and mastery instead of sitting around and just waiting 15 minutes for all the tier five bosses to spawn in again. So here he is again. I'm going to take him out a few more times and then I'll see you guys again in a minute so that I can show you where the real bosses are. Okay, so this time I got an item. Not too bad. You can get mythic items and really good stuff out of here. Just obviously not the really good stuff and or. So whenever you're done with this guy right up here, you're just going to hop straight down and you're going to want to go over to Akaza Cave as soon as the tier 5 bosses are ready to go. Also, one thing that I forgot to mention, there's a lot of items that give extra XP, extra mastery, and also extra drop chance. So right now, I'm using a Polar Mask that's really good for having a lot of damage, health, stamina, stuff like that. But there's also other masks that aren't meant for being super strong. They're meant for farming, such as this mask. It has a plus 3% drop rate. So if you have items that have higher percentage drop rate and higher percentage XP and mastery, you're obviously going to want to be using those if you're trying to farm bosses for the sake of getting loot. It's way better to have a higher drop rate than a couple extra damage if the whole reason you're farming these bosses is to get drops. All right, the tier five boss has spawned. This is the first of four that we're going to be taking out. I think 
that was a glitch. That's literally the first time that's ever happened. I did not get a chest. Okay, just, just ignore that, everybody. I literally have no clue why that happened. I've always gotten a chest. Okay, so once you're done with Akaza Cave, you're gonna wanna go over to the horse guy, and then next, you're going to the Mist Trainer location. Here at the Mist Trainer location, there is a Tier 3 boss right here, but we are gonna go over to the Tier 5 boss. So if you don't know where the Tier 5 boss is, there is the Mist this trainer location just come over here over to this hill just run up this little canyon area and the tier 5 boss is going to be over here on the left as you can see he's right here in front of this little home this is rangoku and this is the oh who, who's this guy some random dude just came up behind me this is rangoku this is the tier 5 boss you're going to want to take out next uh try to hit him before he gets to you otherwise you're going to get hit first Okay, we finally got him, and it only dropped some potions, so we got a little bit unlucky that time, but it's fine. Right after you take out Rangoku, back here there's going to be another horseman, and you can just teleport straight to the next location. So next, we're gonna go to Devourer's Jaw. Once you're here, you're gonna wanna go into this little cave area. Just keep running straight down this cave, and then right over here to the left is the third tier 5 boss. Now this guy is a little bit difficult. I mean, all the tier 5 bosses are kind of difficult, especially if you're a lower tier player, you're new to the game, you're not that high of a level. All the bosses are going to be kind of difficult, but this one's really difficult because he just does a lot of damage. And also, you can run this with friends. I've done this boss rotation with friends before, and as long as everybody's getting a pretty good percentage of damage, then you guys should all get the chest with the same chances of loot. Okay, yeah, right now I'm kind of just getting hit a bunch of times from this boss, but it's fine because I have a lot of health regen. Oh, my friend actually just arrived. He's here to help. And I got another chest, but I'm actually getting pretty crazy unlucky right now with the loot. The first boss just completely glitched and didn't give me a chest. And then the two second bosses only gave me potions. So that's just bad luck. That usually doesn't happen. Usually I at least get an ore or a decent item from every other boss. But yeah, you just run straight out of the cave and you go over to the left. This uh, this horseman's a little bit far away compared to the other ones, but you just run straight out of the cave the way that you came and go this way over to the left. And this is where the final horse guy is. And then the final place you're going to want to go is back to the sound cave. The sound cave is the same place I said to farm the tier three boss, but instead of going up in the sound cave, you're going to want to leave the sound cave and go over to the right. And this is where the fourth tier five boss is right over here. All right, we took down the final boss, and I only got potions again, so th this wasn't the best of example of what loot you can get, but you can get a lot of good items, and you can get a lot of ores by farming these bosses. Every once in a while, you just get on a bad luck streak, and clearly I'm on a bad luck streak. But yeah, after you take out the four tier five bosses, just stay here at Sound Cave, because you're already at Sound Cave. That's why I told you guys to do it in this specific order, and since I'm already at Sound Cave, I would just go right back up there and if I wanted to take out that tier 3 boss a few times before all the tier 5s spawn in again then you can and the reason that you want ores and good items from these bosses is because ores is pretty much the currency in the game you need ores to buy stuff and to trade and you can also get really good items and if you don't want those items you can just go and trade them for a bunch of ores so that is the best way to farm ores and items all by yourself but there's an even better way to get them way quicker, but it doesn't have anything to do with farming. This is the fastest way to farm ores and good items by rotating all of these tier 5 bosses, but if you're pretty good at trading, if you've traded in any other game, it's really similar in this game, except there aren't really value lists in this game, and nobody really knows exactly what stuff is worth. So you can actually trade in this game and get crazy, crazy wins. I'll just give you an example 
like sound katanas. Sound katanas, you can get like six or seven ores for them most of the time, but then you can also find people selling sound katanas and they only want a few ores or they want demon horns or something because you need demon horns to activate a bunch of the different breathing abilities. So if you guys want a totally separate video on a trading guide in this game, then I can do an entire video on trading in this game because trading is honestly the fastest way to get really good items and to get a ton of ores and get really rich quickly. But obviously you can't trade until you get anything good first. So that's what this video is for. This is how you get a bunch of ores and good items to start trading is by running through all these bosses. But before you can run through all these bosses, you have to rank up a little bit first because you need to be rank 50 just to get into this world and to take out these bosses. And then also you need to be rank 100 to trade most items and to trade the really good items you need to be rank 150. So before any trading you need to be ranking up a ton and grinding bosses a ton. So that's what this video and the video before this one is for. My very first video on the game was right before this one and it was a max level farm, the quickest way to rank up. So first things first, you're going to want to get a really high rank. Second thing, you're going to want to start getting a bunch of good items and ores. And then third thing, once you are a high rank and you have some items and ores, then you can start trading. So that's kind of why I'm making these videos in this order. So if you guys want me to drop a third Project Slayers video after this one, where I go through trading and really teach you guys how to trade and make a ton of profit, then I can. And also just comment down below what other videos you guys want me to make on this game. Because if you guys have been watching my channel, which most people watching probably do, you guys know that I'm a Pet Sim X YouTuber, so I'm pretty new to this game, but it is a lot of fun and I want to keep making more videos on it. So just comment down below if there's anything that I'm missing, anything else that everybody should know, and I'll heart the comment so that I can learn from it and that everybody else can as well. But yeah, I need to get a little bit better at trading before I give you guys a full trading guide, because I'm not a pro trader in this game yet. I haven't been playing this game for very long. It's been less than a week. But yeah, if you guys found this information useful, make sure to hit the like button, comment down below, and subscribe if you have not already. I'll be back again soon with some more Project Slayer and Pet Simulator X videos, and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you on the next one very soon. Peace out, everybody.